Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected. Today we're in Scarborough, just outside of Ontario, to Toronto, uh, looking at this 2015 Honda Accord. It's got the 2.4 liter VTEC in it with a uh, manual transmission. It's got 134,000 kilometers on it. Don't see any visible damage. Anything major, at least. There's a couple of uh, little scuffs, things like that here and there. That was the passenger side mirror. All the windows are the original Honda windows. No damage in the back here. Driver's side is in good shape as well. There you see the Honda rear window. There's a couple of little marks on the edge of the driver's door there. A little couple of scuff marks. A couple of little uh, dings in the bottom of the driver's door. Again with the driver's mirror, a couple of little scuff off right there. There's some, it's like a, kind of like sap stains or something like that on the fender there. But no broken light housings, grill, everything is in good shape. No signs of real damage underneath, under there. No wetness or leaking that I can see. And the undercarriage is in pretty good shape. Real, real solid, no rust couple of uh, rock chips in the front edge of the hood as you can see there a couple of little ones just just starting some surface rust the tires are all matching matching Michelin's they're summer tires they were all produced in 2014 they all have between three and four 30 seconds of tread left on them. That means they're, they're mostly through their life. They're almost done. They'll probably pass safety, but they should be replaced soon. Another couple thousand miles. I mean kilometers, sorry. The front brakes are a bit rusty from sitting. The rotors are a little worn. You can see some deeper pitting in those rotors. The, the brake pads are about 35% about of their life left. Uh, all around, actually, the rear ones are the same. Oh, you can see that the rims are in pretty good shape. There are a little bit of curb rash on the passenger side front one, but not much. These are rear wheels. Again, rims are in good shape. A little bit of curb rash here and there. These rear brakes, uh, rotors are in better shape, but the pads are also they're maybe 40, 45 percent, a little bit more than the fronts. Again, these Michelin, 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 matching Michelins. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? It's uh, 2014. There's the treads. They are about three to four, 30 seconds. Here's a little look at the undercarriage. It is nice and clean under here. Saw no signs of rust or aging, anything like that. We can see that the all the CV boots, everything seems to be in good shape under there. No leaking from the steering rack, anything like that. This rear, left rear tire is the same story. Michelin, 2014. About three to four. Rear brakes do have the even wear. Same thing, probably about 40% left on that pad. Look in the trunk real quick. What is it box? And we're back. Sorry about that. Here's the trunk compartment. It's pretty good shape. 
It does have the factory floor mats in the trunk here. The driver's one has a little bit of wear under the foot. The rear ones are good. There's no winter mats or anything included. It's just these ones. Your spare tire, the tool kit is here. And it seems to be complete. Your spare tire as well. Looks to be in good shape. Probably never used. Deep confirm that all the panels are original panels as well. Seems to have been no repairs or anything like that. There's no tape lines anywhere. Thing is in good shape. A little scuff right there on the deck lid. We'll go to the interior, which is in pretty good shape. It's so the door panels, no real signs of wear, tear. Little tiny bit of shoe marks on the edge there, but nothing much. A couple of shoe scuffs in the door sill there. So the driver's seat, showing a little bit of wear here on the bolster. And there's a little bit of marking there on the on the seat of the of this seat. The console is in pretty good shape. There's a couple of small nicks there. But everything seems we work. Opens, closes. Steering wheel is in good shape. No signs of wear, damage, anything like that. Same with the dash, it's all in very good shape. Carpet's in pretty good shape. A little dirt needs a vacuum, but other than that, it's pretty good. Here's your dash. All in pretty good shape. No missing buttons, anything broken. Here's your power outlets, etc. They're all there. Looking in the glove box, we find the original manual and a couple other uh, random notebooks. Here is your original manual and paperwork. Also in this satchel is the uh, the lock for the. Oh, can't get it open, but it is in there. This is the, the wheel lock for the lugs. Here's the passenger floor. As you can see, it's in good shape. I think this would be over here. <laughs> the, it is equipped with a sunroof. And that all works. Dome lights work, sunglass holder, all that's good to go. A little bit of staining here on the headliner by the sunroof. There's vanity mirrors, they all work. Lights work. There's a passenger side seat. Getting a little, little dirt here and there, but no signs of wear, no scratches, no, no issues there. Back seat is in good shape. As you can see, no signs of wear. Real nice tidy car. It's all in good shape. The rest of the headliner is in good shape except for that one stain I showed you. Opens and closes. No signs of wear. The start up, go through electronics. Everything seems to work. There is a little bit of scuffing on that. It's very you can only see it in the right light. See right there. That's on the steering wheel. There's no lights on the dash, anything like that. You can see 134, 514 kilometers. 
the stereo does seem to work just fine. All the all the options, navigation, that works. The phone option comes up. All the information comes up. The menus, etc. Everything seems to work. Heating works. I did test the heat and the AC. AC comes on. Goes off. Everything works just fine. There's the temperature. So all that seems to work. The display up there also shows everything. Uh, I think on the steering wheel controls seem to work. So in general, everything seems to work just fine. <coughs> Look under the hood real quick. Oh, while I'm here, here's your uh, here's your VIN verification there, as well as uh, original panel security tags. Like I said. Oh, under the hood is pretty clean as well. Saw no major issues. Uh, it's clean, as clean as to be expected. It's a little dusty, never probably opened. <laughs> but uh, battery checks out fine, that's at 12 volts. And it was charging at 14, a little over 14, just as it should. Appears to be the original Honda battery. Looking in here, there's no signs of uh, wetness, any leaks, anything like that. A little bit of uh, stuff here by the alternator. That might just be from the belt though. The belt is in good shape. Ribs are good, no fraying, anything like that I saw. The, the wetness here that you see was me, I spilled a little coolant. Uh, which checks out fine, by the way. Checked out the oil. Uh, that comes back just fine. Got a green light on that, so it's in good shape. Smelled a little older, probably needs a change. It might be due for a change, doesn't need one, but uh, the brake fluid is at 1% humidity, so that's just fine. Uh, all the levels were up and fine. Seems to run smoothly. I didn't hear any, any belt noises, any pulley noise, anything like that. Again, here's another security tag. So the car has not been repaired in any major way, anything replaced or stolen, anything like that. So, overall, it's a pretty good car. I'm about to take it for a test drive. And we'll see how she drives. One more look at this 2015 Honda Accord. Thanks for watching. This is AJ from Car Inspected.